Good morning again to all, to all of you. Um, and thank you to uh, Mr. Peters. I'm now going to cover off um, an update on the strategic air pol services policy, uh, which is currently in uh, development. As part of the 2024 uh, island plan, the first step was to agree where strategic versus operational delivery of an air service strategy would sit. And at that point was decided that DFE would, would lead on the strategy due to the economic importance of air connectivity. In 2021, the department commissioned STEER to conduct a review into the island's air services, which set out a number of policy options for the island uh, going forward. Currently, the island operates an open skies policy, which whilst advantageous in some areas, also presents challenges, as called out by the STEER report. We are not necessarily seeing the advantages of the policy as it stands. This is evidenced by the intervention that government has had to make in recent years to secure certain core strategic routes, including across London and across the Northwest, including measures to maintain the patient uh, transfer contract. At this level, as government is already in intervening in the market, we are not currently operating our open skies policy and allowing full market freedoms. The STEER report also considered a number of other factors and called out that Liverpool, Manchester, Dublin and London account for around 90% of all travel needs. It also highlighted that having options in London was important, not just a single route, and also the importance of uh, Northwest connections and Ireland. These findings align to the department's recent stakeholder engagement, where the findings broadly agree that London, Liverpool, Manchester and Ireland are the core routes for the island. In regards of what is most important to travellers, Steer called out that service frequency and the ability to make same day returns were important to business travellers, whilst leisure also called out that cost was an important factor. Among other findings, the report also noted that it was likely that some uh, sort of a subvention from government is required to make travelling to and from the island at the frequency and capacity which is desired for residents and visitors commercially viable for airlines. Based on these findings, at a high level, it is expected that the policy will focus on putting in place a framework to secure the island's core routes over the long term. It is important to recognise that this is already the case across a number of routes. Therefore, this will allow us to do, to do this with a strategic framework aligned to the social and economic requirements of the island. We also recognise that regional connectivity is also important and there is currently some volatility in routes in regards to seasonal scheduling and other factors. These routes need to be sustainable and accessible and we would hope to secure a level of stability across them, but, do not, but not to the same extent as we would expect to secure our core routes. In summary, the Department for Enterprise is leading on the need for long-term, secure and stable air links that serve our island. It is a priority for this administration to be in more control of the strategic connectivity our island needs, including air and sea services. This year, we have had extensive discussions with a wide range of stakeholders, including our business community, many of you are here today, and with airlines themselves. Our next step very much is to agree the overarching strategic air services policy, which we will bring to Timwald by the end of this year. On the back of that, subject of course to Timwald approval, we will then look to further secure long-term partnerships on our core routes, something this government has been doing in recent years, as well as expanding and sustaining regional connections which support our economy and our broader society. We have been investing and we understand we will continue to need to invest in these critical areas going forward. I will now hand uh, over to Gary Cobb who will provide further details regarding the, the operational improvements being made by the airport. Thank you very much.